Chelsea and today I want to talk about why I prefer a camper over a van or RV. Some people have these really giant rigs and some people have vans and there are three main reasons why I enjoy having a camper. So reason number one um, is kind of in comparison to an RV. I really like the fact that my camper is detachable from my tow vehicle. So this makes it really easy for mobility when I want to explore a certain city or town. It really comes in handy just to be able to leave your camper somewhere else and then just take your smaller tow vehicle into the city. So when we were exploring like San Francisco. There are so many hills in that town and tight turns and small parking garages and limited parking on the streets anyway that it really just made it a lot easier for us to leave the camper back in San Jose, drive the 45 minutes up there, and then just explore the city for the day. So it's a lot less stressful for us when we just want to go into town and have dinner or something and not have to worry about dragging that thing everywhere so like for a really big rig and you don't have like a tow vehicle on the back or like a side spare vehicle like that you're towing with your big rig I it's just it's personally I like it better just to have a camper trailer that I can leave somewhere else and go into town another benefit to that is that when we have hookups and stuff if we are going somewhere like if I'm just going to a grocery store really fast or something I have somewhere that I can leave banks that isn't in my car um, I do travel with a dog and if any of you guys travel with a dog and you have a van or something I know that you you're probably not allowed to just leave your dog in the van so it comes really in handy just to have this space for her reason number two and this one is kind of in comparison with vans I travel with a buddy and I probably plan to do that for a while also I really enjoy having guests so the camper gives me enough space to have guests whereas in a van um, maybe you can have a, like one guest but things probably would get a little bit cramped after that one person limit but okay so right now Dylan and Brooke are both with me and traveling and then in a couple days Dylan will fly home and then my little brother Sal will be coming to visit me so then I'll have two people and Banks and then <laughs> In a couple more weeks, a couple friends of mine are going to be in Seattle, so I'm going to meet up with them. So that means I'll have three guests with me and a dog. And if I was in a van, that kind of stuff just wouldn't really be possible. I'm like kind of a social person sometimes and I just like to have people around me. Number three, and this one is also kind of in comparison to vans. For me, since I do this full time, I really enjoy having the space that I have. I have room for every type of wardrobe thing that you can have like for different seasons and everything and although it still is a minimalist lifestyle these things still do take up room and I enjoy that. I also really enjoy the fact that I have a bathroom with me at all times. My camper I has a bathroom in it and therefore in the middle of the night when I have to pee or something I don't have to walk across a campsite or wherever to go use the restroom. I like the fact that it's like five feet away from me and then that's that. It also allows me to store things that I can do um, like when I'm bored and when there's like not internet or anything around or if it's rainy and you're not going to go hiking for the day I have like water coloring stuff. I have a mandolin and a ukulele that I can try to learn to play if I get to that point. Being full time I really like the amount of space that I have but it's also not giant so it still has mobility that like comes into play so it's not a big rig I still can like go anywhere I want to to me a camper trailer it really is just the best of both worlds because you get the mobility of a van but you get the space of having an RV or big rig so I really like being to being able to separate the camper from the car and it's just the best of both worlds in my opinion. That being said, I am definitely not bagging on anyone that chooses a different type of vehicle to live in while they're on the road, whether it be a big rig. I have seen some big rigs that are just absolutely gorgeous inside. I mean, it's literally like a portable house, but for me, those things can't fit in tight quarters like when you're going you know to a city and like I mentioned already it's just not as mobile as I need it to be and then definitely not bagging on van dwellers if I 
felt comfortable traveling by myself most of the time and didn't want to have guests, I'd probably go for a van too. Like that would work out really well for me. But that being said, I do have a dog. I do have travel buddies. I do have people coming to visit me, whether or not it be friends or family. And that just seems to work out best for me. Sorry if she's distracting. She's just moving a lot right now. Anyway, I know this was a short one, but I appreciate you guys watching. Those are my top three reasons why I prefer a camper trailer over a big rig or a van. Like I said a million times already, I just feel like it's the best combination, best of both worlds, and it's been working out really well for me so far, and I don't have any regrets about it. Please subscribe to my channel down below if you are interested in my nomadic travels, or if you want to live this lifestyle yourself and are looking to pick up a few tips and tricks along the way. I do put out weekly videos trying to give you guys the best advice that I have learned so far on this trip. Two things that I want to mention, first and foremost, I just want to give a huge shout out to a couple of people. Dusk, Perry, Greg, and Mike for becoming my newest patrons. I really appreciate you guys. And then my second little thing that I wanted to give a little shout out to is that I recently started doing a couple live streams here and there. I know I said that I was going to try to do it every Sunday and Thursday, which I'm still going to try to stick to that. Living in a different place every other day is kind of hard to do designated days for live streaming just because it really does depend on how much service my phone has at the time and I tried to do one on Sunday at the beach and it dropped so I'm sorry about that but I am going to try to be adamant about those days if I can. It's kind of just like a cooking a meal with me like let's sit down have dinner and hang out like let's just talk shoot this I want to give a huge shout out to Nesquik as well I really appreciate everything that you have done for me so far you have been such a cool subscriber to have and every single other person that was a part of my live stream last week I, it's so cool to get to know you guys like I've had a really good time and I actually feel like I'm just hanging out with you guys so let's do that again soon and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one